All right, thank you so much for joining us today. Kelly McKetrick, head of the AdTech channel for sales for LinkedIn. Yes. And we're also joined today with Caitlin Stitch, partner marketing lead, AKA everything. <laughs> Thanks so much for joining us. I know your schedule is super busy right here in the middle of inbound. How are you all doing? Have you been enjoying the conference? Great, yeah, right. thanks for having us. Absolutely. Yeah. And we're out here in the LinkedIn lounge, out here on the second floor. Uh, beautiful little installation here, nice uh, natural wood. There have been uh, mini conferences and LinkedIn learning things on here. So I've seen the LinkedIn lounge before. I've actually seen a, a much larger installation of this at South by Southwest. I know you guys took over an entire hall, which I attended earlier this year. So I'd love to hear a little bit more about what attendees can expect to learn at the inbound conference within the LinkedIn Lounge, just in terms of programming, what to expect from all the wonderful folks that we've met here that have been manning the front of the line here. Yeah, so I think in all these engagements, it's really about how do we create a welcoming, organic <laughs> environment to inspire people to come by, talk with us, to learn, and really think about how to grow professionally, how to grow their businesses. That's why we design these setups. So there's a couple different engagements that we that we set up to, to achieve that. So. One, we want people to come by and just talk with us one-on-one. -on -one. Uh, it's the trusted... The trusted teammate. The trusted teammate. So, Ooh, that's a good one. <laughs> wow, I like that. So as we have you know, plants, seating areas, and, and we, we have a bunch of experts here, and we really want people to stop by, chat with us, hear about their challenges, their opportunities, talk to them about what business problems they're trying to solve. Uh, and then we have a bunch of uh, sessions and engagements that really focus on practical tools, tips, and sessions and best practices on how to really leverage LinkedIn. Uh, and, and here today we also have sessions that focus on how to leverage LinkedIn through HubSpot and how together we can make businesses grow faster in a more meaningful and powerful way. Awesome. And I think that's sort of the third way that we, the third way that we really look at uh, these engagements is in addition to that one-on-one -on -one consultation around those tools and tips, it's also around thought leadership, so some of the bigger pictures, some of the bigger things that we want businesses to think about that we've seen across our platform uh, to really inspire that long-term growth. Outstanding. Yeah, and the, the thing that I would add on is that uh, this inbound environment is really exciting for us because we get to participate with so many uh, inbound HubSpot customers as well as their partners, um, as well as just industry practitioners. And so the energy level is really high, and so it's creating all of these wonderful organic yes. connections. Right. People, maybe they don't realize that LinkedIn knows how to party. We're here to advocate for the user. There's a wonderful creative community. But I think that a lot of people don't necessarily understand LinkedIn marketing solutions, LinkedIn sales. They just use LinkedIn, kind of like how people don't necessarily know how Google works and all of that. I think that a lot of people don't necessarily understand, and into my next question, what services you guys have on display here at the conference. So I know that goes part and parcel with the programming. Could you elaborate on that a little bit on some of the services? Yeah, so at a high level, we're really talking about how does sales and marketing come together to create better customer experiences that ultimately drive business growth forward. So what are some of those services and tools specifically? So on the marketing side, you know, really getting started with your page and business presence on LinkedIn. What do you need to do to really establish that foundation and that page being that foundational environment? And then how do you get started with ads to really accelerate that foundation? Foundation, that foundation that you've built. Um, so a lot of programming around getting started with ads, with lead generation, with branding, all those core components that are foundational to, to building successful, long-term, sustainable businesses. Uh, and then we also talk about a lot about our, our sales navigate, that navigator product uh, and how we can bring that alignment of your marketing presence on LinkedIn and tie that back to that back to your sales team to make those two things come together, work together, that are ultimately you know core pillars of a business. You're not, you're not seeing those as separate, uh, distinct. Oh, all day uh, long. Yes. yes. I mean, I don't understand why in organizations you have sales, you have marketing, they don't talk to each other. I mean, what is the point of that? Yes. I think that a lot of people are coming to a level of awareness within the organization. So to just show everyone all these tools that I think a lot of people don't even know exist, really marry those two together quite well. Yeah. I'm sales, marketing, you can that. do all and of you're these conferences the together. together. Yeah. Exactly. <laughs> That's how it works. Awesome. Anything else you add? Yeah, no, it's really exciting, especially with our partnership when you think about the products and services that HubSpot offers and our tie-in that all of our suite of products and services offers. Right. We're really in it to help our businesses grow and for that audience, particularly at Inbound, that SMB mid-market. It's really incredibly exciting. Absolutely. Amazing. So. 
let's just talk about your personal slash business experience here. What's been your favorite part of the inbound conference so far? Man, that's a great one. Yeah. I think it made a great point about the energy that's here today. Mm -hmm. And I particularly like our lounge space that we've created. It's um, sweet. Yes. Yeah, absolutely. But I also like how inbound, when they create their content and when you look at the sessions that they're bringing in today, they do a really great job of bringing in practitioners on the marketing front, but also inspirational speakers oh, yes. to talk about how marketing can better connect with their customers. Right. And I think that's incredibly valuable. And they bring all types of industry experts to do that. My favorite is Chip and Joanna Gaines, and they'll be on Friday. I'm so sad I'm not here tomorrow for <laughs> so that. Everyone's like, you get to be Chip and Joanna. No, I'm flying out already. Oh, well. Let me know how it goes. But it really highlights, <laughs> I think bringing in speakers like that highlights the, the opportunity businesses have to be more conversational right. with their customers. And I think so that's true. really what this uh, conference is about. And I think that's some of the value that LinkedIn is bringing, especially with the power of the products that we have and demonstrating. Yeah. I think it's such a human conference. Uh, you know, you really you can go to a lot of conferences, a lot of buzzwords, a lot of emerging technologies and trends. And I think you know, inbound is really about innovation through experiences, uh, which is really nice because that you, you feel. I'm always excited to come here because I just feel relaxed, ready to engage, ready to learn. It comes through. You walk away with better relationships, uh, better insights for your own products. Just hearing from actual customers and feet on the feet on the street. So, uh, you know, that's what that's what I love about it, and uh, you know, it really reflects in everyone's attitude here. Like everyone, everyone is super welcoming and just ready to be curious, learn, and, and share, share stories. It's a very open and, open and sharing yeah. environment. Um, we actually were talking to HubSpot earlier today. They were talking about a whole thing where they've been adding comedians into it, which I thought was a super interesting way because a lot of times people don't integrate marketing and comedy, but yeah. you have to do a lot of marketing work to get people to laugh on a regular basis. It's, it's hard stuff to get some laughs out of the crowd. I feel like you're far more upper on stage. I gotta crack a few jokes. So um, let's jump into something a lot more specific. I know you guys had something specific to announce between LinkedIn Mm -hmm. And HubSpot. So what's going on? What's the news? Yeah, so before we, before we talk about the, the latest news, so yeah. our partnership with HubSpot is really exciting. It crosses all our product suites from, from Sales Navigator to Pages to Ads. Uh, the ad side is the newest part of our partnership. We launched it back in February. It's really been about how do we meet the HubSpot customer where they are to grow their businesses, to an integration with LinkedIn, where those customers are coming to just make it really easy and organic and intuitive for them to accelerate their, their ads business with us. Um, today, that's been a suite of tools around insights. You can come into the HubSpot platform, quickly learn how your LinkedIn ads are doing, and audiences. You can take all of your audiences that are sitting in HubSpot in the CRM and more uh, organically reach them through, through the LinkedIn platform. What we'll be announcing and expanding that to is now you can be able to create lead gen ads directly from HubSpot, Wow! send those nice. into LinkedIn, and really close that sales and marketing loop where you can market those ads, generate leads, bring those back to your sales team, which really is about those business results. That's impressive. So I'm super Good exciting. Stuff. And yeah. the key point there is meeting their customers where they're at right. and having all their tools in one place where it's easy for them to access right. and break down those barriers to the successful business growth they need to see. Again, that sales and marketing magic. We're not at war. We're here to do it. <laughs> so let's turn it into something that's quite different from everything else we talked about. We yeah. talked about how LinkedIn is partnering with people one-on-one, -on -one, getting right in front of everybody, being very warm and approachable. Yeah. This is such a, an awesome space. So I think a lot of people that are in the creator community that will be watching this, if you're watching my news columns or watching me on LinkedIn or live streaming or whatever it is, um, many of you are using hashtags within the creator community. I wanted to highlight one that LinkedIn did before a lot of other people were even thinking about hashtags. And that, for those of you who haven't been watching this, is LinkedIn Life. Not LinkedIn Live, LinkedIn Life. So that's a popular hashtag that talks all about the, in my opinion, quite unique corporate culture of LinkedIn. It's very uplifting and I think it's so cool and different because a lot of companies, they have a corporate culture, but it's very internal, close to the chest, whereas here it's just open to the world. Hey, look at hashtag LinkedIn Life, here are pictures about what's going on. So um, what's your favorite part about LinkedIn's culture, hashtag LinkedIn Life? 
Hopefully you'll stop by the Boomerang session later to yeah. promote your own LinkedIn life and experience. Right on. Uh, but, but I think really, you know, if you think about LinkedIn's mission, which is really creating economic opportunity, at the core of that for me is creating better lives, enabling people to have better lives, uh, more fulfilling lives, and that's sort of the life part of LinkedIn mm -hmm. life that really uh, seeps into every part of place and what we do what we do together and how do we share that how do we talk about that uh, how do we make that part of our day-to-day -day? And, and that's sort of what, what the, the hashtag is about is, is promoting that having fun with it sharing what we're doing um, probably my favorite LinkedIn life moment recently so we had a, a team offsite and we did dinner in the dark uh, so you're, nice. you're with your colleagues, you're literally blindfolded, you have no <laughs> idea your surroundings, you can't see anything, and it really just focuses you, it's, uh, forces you to think about, you know, what is that experience like to, right. to leverage other senses, to get uncomfortable with your own colleagues, to trust them. It's just one of many examples of sort of uh, putting yourself out there, promoting that with your team, bringing your life at the center of your work, and, and having fun with things. Again, you know, opportunity is about a better, better experience, and That's at the awesome. end of the day, life is, is, is part of that. Outstanding. Huh. Absolutely. And yeah. businesses are really made up of the professionals that work there. And so this Great. hashtag really allows us to celebrate what those opportunities or instances are. Mm -hmm. That's so funny. When I think of my favorite hashtag, it also comes from a team offsite. <laughs> Um, and actually, it was Kelly's team offsite, which oh, was really exciting that I had had a chance to participate. But we were taking a group photo, mm -hmm. um, and someone sneezed while we were taking the group photo. <laughs> and so there's this great hashtag LinkedIn Live from Kelly, <laughs> LinkedIn uh, yeah. hashtag from Kelly's offsite with someone sneezing. And it was and just, just totally a glorious <laughs> moment of just that humanity and connection to your colleagues, but actually also real life in a moment that we really enjoyed as a team. And so we really celebrate that. Amazing. Final question. Yeah. Favorite feature on LinkedIn? Why don't you go first? Uh, my favorite feature is the actually quick way to scan and connect with people. Yes. If you've ever looked at your LinkedIn profile and you lurk, look in the search bar, there's a QR code. And if you tap that, you can very quickly connect with someone, especially at a conference like Inbound. It actually saves me from ever, ever printing a business card. Um, and I use it very heavily here. That's it. That's top of my list for me as well, is just that ease of connection in the, in the professional community, uh, as well as making that connection kind of fun. I think HubSpot in Inbound is about that too. How do we bring life into the B2B community and, and connections and making those easy? Uh, but but to, to selfishly, since I do work on, on the partner business, I would say my, my favorite feature and function of LinkedIn is really the investment that we've been making in our, in our APIs that just allow great companies like a HubSpot and whatnot to expand, expand the reach of what we can do on, on the platform and just bring LinkedIn on a much broader scale, wider sphere, to a broader base of businesses and companies because we want, we want LinkedIn to be accessible to you know, companies of all sizes. And it is. I and, see it every and, day. And that's, the, that's the exciting part. So Fantastic. that's what we get to work on every day. It's super fulfilling and, and it's fun. You've got the life. Kelly, <laughs> <laughs> <Shall we? laughs> thank you. It's been fantastic. Thank you for taking some time out of your busy day, and we really appreciate it. Thank you. Absolutely. Thank you. Thanks for having us. Right. Yeah. The inbound. All right. Thank you.